It was supposed to be a day of service and celebration for a congregation on Long Island that was founded in the years just after the Civil War. But the pre-Juneteenth service at the Episcopal Church of the Messiah Central in Central Islip, well, that didn't happen. Why? Because a fire pretty much destroying the century-old church yesterday. Fire inspectors trying to figure out the cause. The congregation now trying to figure out what's next. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is here with the very latest. Lauren? Well, Bill, from the outside, the church doesn't look too badly damaged, save for all of its windows being boarded up. But inside, the altar, the floors, the walls destroyed by fire, smoke, and water all just hours before. A big celebration, one that many of the congregants were looking forward to. Seven different fire departments responded to the overnight call of smoke at the Church of the Messiah, the first church in Central Islip, and one that has served generations. To have that much history lost is devastating. And for our church community itself, um, it's a real gut punch. Her grandparents began attending church here in the 1930s. Its membership is now mostly African American and Caribbean, and they'd planned a Juneteenth celebration for yesterday. If that had simply happened six hours or eight hours later, we would have all been in there, and there's no telling what could have happened to us. Fortunately, there were no injuries, but there is plenty of loss. When we walked up into the church, I saw everything in the church, except the pews were literally burned, the ceiling came down, it was old wood, and it was a lot of debris, and it was heartbreaking. I came dressed in a nice suit, ready for service. Boyd Coley hadn't heard about the fire until he arrived for Sunday morning worship service. When I looked up, I saw all the damage. I said, could not believe it. The Suffolk County Arson Squad is investigating. The fire is believed to have started in the basement. And the building was uh, built in about the 1850s. Uh, in 1869, it was moved over to the area it's now, uh, but it has what's considered balloon construction, and that's the construction that goes from the basement all the way up to the top floor. It allowed the fire to travel pretty rapidly. But this Episcopal congregation has faith in its future and will use another building on site until they can rebuild. We may have lost a building, but we continue to have our family, and that's what counts. That's what counts indeed. Tuesdays, the church holds its food pantry, serving more than a dozen families in the area, and they say that that will continue tomorrow, despite yesterday's fire.